Alright guys, what's going on? I figured I'd give you a quick little video. I have uh, had a couple people ask either that haul freight or they, um, they're they just looking to get in the auto haul hauling business. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys Central Dispatch. So, I have a location in here, origin and destination. I know there's going to be cars there, that's why I picked it. Um, but if you go scroll down, you can select what type of vehicles boats, heavy equipment, how many vehicles you can haul at one time, uh, how quickly the cars are ready, things like that. So when you hit search, it'll come up with a, the list of cars that are available in your certain criteria. Um, with this, uh, we'll just uh, we'll go with this one for instance. It's got two cars, it's in Finksburg, Maryland and it is going to Newark, New Jersey. You can click on that and it'll tell you what vehicles they are. It usually will say car, truck, SUV, just so you know size. Sometimes it will preload the dimensions of the vehicle in for you so you can at least know the length and the and the weight in case you're working with uh, you know running out of room on the trailer just trying to squeeze in as much profit as possible just so you have a quick idea uh, of how big the vehicle is if it's not something you're familiar with but nine times out of ten you're going to be familiar with it uh, so what you would do here it has the broker's information uh, you and the number to call them sometimes over here in the reference it'll have a separate number to either call or text like like Barbara has here on this one or this one here has a number to text and uh, they'll give you a little description sometimes if it's going to a port it'll say if a twit card's required or not and, um, and then you can go from there and uh, call the broker and say they uh, they say yep go ahead and uh, they'll dispatch it to you so you go to here then it'll show you vehicles dispatched to you now here's some there's five cars right now that are just dis dispatched to me uh, that we have not picked up yet that need to be picked up today and tomorrow so if you go in here once you accept the load you'll be able to see all the details I'll scroll past that so you can't see all my details um, but it'll give you all kinds of instructions on how to pick up the car what to do what not to do what pictures to take blah 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 um, phone numbers, emails for uh, where to send the bill lading when it's done, and things like that. So what I do at this point, and some of you guys have asked about this as well, what I use for my bill of ladings. Now I use uh, Super Dispatch. So what I'll do is I save it to my computer, and then we flip over to... Uh, da, 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 da. We'll flip over to, here it is, Super Dispatch. Um, what you'll do is once you save it to your desktop, you will import it and select the PDF and it will come up like this. So I have four signed loads that are to me and my other driver. And I have two loads that I have not assigned yet because I'm not sure which one of us is going to pick it up. So with that being said, uh, you can link Central Dispatch to Super Dispatch, then to QuickBooks. And the good thing is, once you all you need to do f for QuickBooks to import these there is to make sure the customer or the shipper, uh, this section right here is word for word pasted in and added as a customer on QuickBooks. Then all you need to do is you can send the invoice. This will come up, you don't email it, and it'll say QuickBooks Online, and you can import it right to QuickBooks with all the information, and it saves it right there for you, which is great. So that's just a little rundown of, um, of Central Dispatch and how, how that whole thing works. If you guys haul freight, it's just like a freight load board, uh, but for you guys that aren't, excuse me, in the, in the game yet, it'll show you, uh, that's just a little um, rundown of how it how it'll work. Let me uh, let me go back here to search and show you guys something as well that I forgot to mention. 
uh, it'll show you the the rate which has an uh, an estimate on the miles and the uh, the price per mile which is nice when you're scrolling through to see um, see this is a uh, a bike here so it's 62 cents a mile if you're already gonna be there and you're already heading that way that's an extra 125 bucks for fuel for you but it also tell you how you're getting paid you'll get COD you'll get a company check and it'll tell you if it's gonna be a five day 15 day 30 day most of these are, are quick pay or five days. So you'll have your money within a week or two, uh, which is nice. And uh, if you're, uh, you know, say you are you need some cash, you want some cash, and, uh, you know, just how the week's been going, you can get COD. There's 400 bucks when you get those cars delivered and whatnot like that. So that's just a little rundown there for you guys on, on how Central Dispatch works. And uh, it's very easy. Uh, I tried a different uh, software for bill of lading, and it made my job a lot harder. I didn't want to pay. <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't want to pay the money for Super Dispatch. It was fifty-five dollars a month, and now it's a hundred dollars because I have multiple drivers, which I plan on growing the fleet. So, hundred bucks a month isn't isn't a big deal when the ease of the bill of lading is as easy as this is and easier for me to keep track from booking the load to assigning the load to a driver to having an invoice on file so I know that they haven't paid or I can show that they've paid and the good the nice part about it is is when I go in here to super dispatch and I have these new loads and I want to assign it to my driver uh, I already know this one's gonna go to Levi I sign it to him within probably seconds. His phone's going to be vibrating and showing that he has a new new notification and a new load, which is going to give him all the information he needs to get that vehicle picked up. If it's from a co-part or an IAA, it's going to have buyer numbers on there. If it ends up coming from a Mannheim or another auction, I will always send him an email with the um, gate pass or vehicle release form needed to get the vehicle out and get loaded on his trailer and get him moving so that's just how I do it guys um, if you have any other questions you can always comment down below and ask me that's just kind of a quick rundown of how central dispatch works what I use for a bill of lading and um, what I do to keep track of invoice with QuickBooks. So, with that being said, guys, thanks again. Uh, we're about 40 subs. Uh, hold on, let me look. 40 subscriptions away from uh, from 1,000. So that's a, a big milestone. I honestly never thought we would get there with this channel. I kind of watched YouTube for uh, I'd say three three years religiously. Um, uh, people making car videos and rebuild videos and just things to pass the time. Uh, it really interested me. I got out of TV and really just watched YouTube and never thought I would have a channel that anybody would watch. So I really do appreciate it, guys. And uh, just remember the giveaway is coming up at a 1000 Someone's going to get a set of airbags from Firestone. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I'd love to be. So reach out, Firestone, if you're watching this. Or if you don't have a truck or don't need a set of airbags, I'm going to probably give you, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to give you $300 cash and it's probably going to be through Cash App just to make it easy so I don't have to mail out a check and make sure you get your money instantly. So that being said, guys, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and we will see you next time. Thank you.